I actually love old school RuneScape mobile. I got from 43 to 51 while working. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's uh, 120 tasks completed, 118 points overall. I'm uh, very short on points, so hopefully I don't have to skip too many tasks. Give me something good. Oh, Jesus, I hate Dagonoth so much. I don't have a cannon or anything like that. Can I skip, please? I mean, Dagonoth usually is a pretty easy task, but... That shit's annoying without a cannon, so let's, uh, okay, cal fights, I can do that. Holy shit, look at this, I got Dragon Harpoon. I think that's like 1 in 2,000, 1 in 1,000 or something, because I'm on task, it's a bit more likely. I think it's 1 in 2,000 while on task, and like 1 in 10,000 while not on task, it's worth so much, look at this. Holy shit, that is a lot of profit. I really want to get, like, I've never got, what are these called, cave horrors? I've never got them. L, what? Dude, I don't even know how to kill elves. I'm not even joking. I'm going to skip this. I've used all my points now. Seriously, if I get a shitty assignment now, I'm sad. Black dragons. That's easy. I have a feeling that cave horrors is actually a very rare assignment to get because I haven't got any of them since I did the cabin fever quest and that was quite a while ago. So anyways, let's get another assignment. Gargoyles, that is a lot of money. Probably like one mil from this. Like, if I'm using prayer pots anyways, is there really a point of me using the barrows gear, which just degrades anyways when I get hit, if I can't even get hit by them because I'm praying melee? And I don't have the initiate armor yet, which I'm soon going to get, by the way, but... I mean, I can just fashion scape it out, right? Because I have infinite defense, really, when I have the melee prayer on, and I don't have any power armor anyways that gives strength bonus, so I might as well just use this, which looks very nice. Oh sweet, I just hit 85 hit points as well, that's a pretty nice milestone actually, and 101 combat from that, so uh, yeah. I got a superior gargoyle here and it is actually so obnoxious to move around when there are so many gargoyles around that you have to dodge that huge damage ball, but uh, yeah, that loot was actually not that bad. Rune 2 aged like 40k or something. That was quite a mill, but 700k is very nice. 2000 experience to level 77, so what assignment is going to give me 77 slayer trolls? Uh, I mean, it's annoying, but it's very easy points. I actually hit 77 slayer on that task and uh, 73 points now, so I can actually skip two assignments if I want to. But I think I'm actually going to buy a Saradomin sword, by the way. It's like 1.1 mil, and I don't really need more attack right now or defense. I just want uh, higher strength to be able to kill things faster. So I'm just going to buy a Saradomin sword after this. I have like 2 mil cash in the bank, so I'm all good on that. Let's get a good assignment. Blood Veld's very good. I can use a Saradomin sword on that very easily. This sword is actually so badass looking, I actually love it. But yeah, we have a superior monster here, and it gave me... Wow, that's actually really good. Wait, that's a lot of money. And also, I think I have enough to make like three whole totems at this point. Maybe like two, and just missing the last piece for the third. But yeah, rune battle axe, not too bad from a superior. So I think it's about time that I get Proselyte, especially now that I have the tier 60 prayer and I want to get Piety as well, which drains a lot of prayer. It is definitely time for me to get the armor and I need to complete the Slug Menace for that and I need to do quite a few quests for that. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I think I need to do Recruitment Drive in Wanted and then Sea Slug and Wanted. So it's not too many quests, like four or five at max, I think. And then I will also have the goal of getting 70 prayer from 61. And I calculated how much it's going to cost. With Dragon Bones, it's roughly 4 mil cash. So I'm going to have to do some Slayer as well. I mean, I could sell my Saradomin sword and like my whip or something. But then after that, I don't have any weapons. So there's no point of really doing that. So I'm going to get the Proselyte armor by doing the quests. And then after that, just keep doing PVMing and Slayer until I have enough money to buy the bones for piety. For 80 total quest points, that is uh, recruitment drive completed, 1k prayer, herb lore, and agility experience, pretty nice actually, and then this helmet, which is, uh, yeah, 3 plus prayer, I guess this is what uh, the initiate gear is going to be upgraded to, the proselyte armor, pretty nice, let's do uh, wanted. Before I could do wanted, I had to complete uh, goblin diplomacy and the lost tribe, so here we go, that is the goblin diplomacy done. And then the Lost Tribe completed, so now I can complete Wanted. And that is Wanted completed, only two more quests to go. And this is going to be the end of Sea Slug, extremely easy quest, and it's going to give me some nice fishing experience, I think. Yeah, 7k, that's very good. Now, have everything for the Slug Menace. So I just have to start that, and I don't think it's too bad of a quest, but we will see.
Sorry if there's any background noise. That is the slug minions completed. Holy shit, dude. That was uh, pretty easy, actually. I'm not gonna lie. It was very, very clean, all the quests. That is the proselyte. Now I have unlocked that, which is a relief because I don't know, honestly, why I haven't done it before, but it do does it upgrade this instantly? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I have to buy it from him, I guess. Wait. Can I buy armor? I don't have money with me right now, but uh, yeah, I can buy it from him. That's pretty nice. So I'm just going to buy this. How expensive is this, by the way? Oh, it's like really cheap, actually. So, yep, that's very nice. That's equally good to adamant, but it doesn't really matter that much because it's just about the prayer bonus, which is like crazy. It's like 24 or something. It's absolutely absurd. So I can use that now, and I'm going to try to make money enough to have 4 mil, and then I can get 70 prayer as well. So back to Slayer, I go. Dude, holy shit, this looks so clean. I love the proselyte armor. Anyways, let's get a new assignment. Iron dragons. Oof, that's not very good, but uh, it's not too bad. I can do it in the catacombs. Sadly, I don't do a lot of magic. This is my best gear. Yeah. Pretty welfare, if you ask me. Well, that's the first time I got cave horrors. Also, almost 200 of them, so that's going to be interesting. I think they actually can uh, give pretty decent money with the seeds and all that and also of course there is the chance of getting the black mask which is like 900 to 1 mil or something like 900k to 1 mil not 900 mil jesus Ooh, another superior okay let's see what this is going to drop this uh new proselyte gear is so nice by the way okay there we go 1.3k experience that's so huge okay nothing really unlucky and a second superior on the same task with 49 left. Unfortunately, no black mask yet, but here we go. Oh shit, that's actually so good. It's just one, but that's like 50k drop. Very nice. So I just got a task of 16 black dragons and I just hit 77 slayer recently. So I was like, oh, this is a perfect time to do brutal black dragons for the first time. I've never killed these before, but if you pray magic and you have the... Uh, anti-fire potion you don't need the extended one it's just longer uh, they don't do any damage to you so i can do these 16 kills in this one trip and i will get back to you guys with the loot now i couldn't pick up all the hides but come on look at this this is actually crazy this actually has to be worth quite a lot and this was just 16 kills also i got an ancient chart by the way so that's pretty cool and i have probably like four in total now 266k from 16 kills Holy shit, dude, that's crazy. Ooh, that is 82 strength. Did I get a combat level? Oh, no, I didn't. But it's very close. Maybe next level I'm going to be 102 combat, which is uh, pretty cool. So I'm actually out of prayer pots right now, and I only have 166k cash, so I can't even buy more than like 17 or 18 potions. But then I looked at my Slayer tab. It's over 3 mil. So I'm actually going to sell this and even though I wanted to uh, collect for like 4 million cash for the prayer, 70 prayer, I need to sell this to be able to buy prayer pots. So I'm just going to get a lot of prayer potions and then keep on doing Slayer. This is so satisfying. 200 prayer pots. That is going to last me a long time and also my blowpipe is pretty close to being uncharged. Look at this. Yeah, only 2.2% left and then now I have... 26.6% and I'm going to add the darts as well. That is very nice. I have 18 kills left on this task and I got 36 assigned. So in 18 kills, the first trip, I got 400k. Double Rain or C drop is pretty nice. Also on the last task that I did, I got uh, 78 Slayer, pretty huge milestone. And I'm like 80k to 82 strength and 80k to 81 defense. But I'm mostly just training strength now with Sarah's sword. But for this task, I need the shield, so I just brought the whip. So I completed a medium clue and I have a hard clue right here. But this requires me to go to Miscellanea and I haven't done the Fremenic Trials quest. So I'm going to open the medium casket right here. And then after that, I'm going to do the Fremenic Trials and complete the hard clue hopefully no other uh, requirements to complete it but anyways let's open a medium and get ranger boots that's not ranger boots but i th that's a probably pretty good page 200k for a medium is very good okay fremenic trials is done it's like one small favor but less annoying i guess you have to talk to a lot of people and do a bunch of different things but anyways it's done now and i can go to miscellanea and do that hard clue so we completed the Fremenic Trials for this casket, so I expect it to be something good. Let's see what we're gonna get. Master Clue and an Armadillo Page. That's like four. Okay, that's a very good reward. 500k reward and the Master Clue. I don't think we can actually complete this at all. Uh, so I don't know if it's even worth trying. What is this first step? Oh, that's 
that's an easy one so i can do that but i'm not going to do that for now i might do it i'm just gonna put it in the bank and see how if i can complete it and if there's a step i can't complete if it's like pretty close to being able to be completed then i will do it but if it's like way far off where i have to get like 50 hunter levels or something then of course i won't do it but anyways thank you guys for watching this video this is going to be the end i hope you guys did enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one guys take care